Yes. Hey, good morning. Once again, I'm Teacher Liet, and as I've said a while ago, we will be dealing with patterns in algebra, and our first lesson will be on sequences. Uh, me, I asked you to have with you paper and pen eh, as we go through this topic. I prepared simple activity for you to answer. The title is, How Smart Are You? Ready? Okay, you prepare your piece of paper, any paper will do, and also your pen for your answers later on. So I guess you are ready now. So, our activity is entitled, How Smart Are You? In this test, you must answer 10 questions which will test your knowledge. You will get 40 points for each question you answer correctly. Remember to count up your score later. So, let's do it. Remember, every correct answer is considered 40 points. So, each item below shows a pattern. Answer the given questions. Number one, what is the next shape? So, okay, next question. You just, you just write your answer in your paper, then later on we will be checking on that. Then, next question. What's next? MTWTH. What will be the next? Okay, next, am I going so fast? Oh, not really. Next, number three. What is the next letter after J, F, M, A, M, N? What will be the next letter then? Okay, next. What is the next number? Three, six, nine, twelve, followed by. Okay, number five. What is the tenth number? 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. What will be the tenth number? Okay. How about number six? What is the seventh number? 1, 4, 9, 16. We are looking for the seventh number. Already? Okay. Number seven. What is the next number? One half, one fourth, one eighth, and one sixteenth. What is the next number? Number eight. What is the ninth number? Four, seven, ten, thirteen. We are down to our two last questions. I hope you are still following. Number nine, what is the sixth number? Nine, four, negative one, negative six. What will be the sixth number? And last question is, ready for number 10. What is the next term? 160, 80, 40, 20. What is the next term? So, let us go through your answers. Number one, you check your own answers. Then later on, we will be computing your scores. Number one, what is the next shape? What is the answer? Of course, it is three triangles. You have the pattern is one square, then followed by one triangle, one square, two triangles, then you have one square, and of course, we will be having three triangles then. Did you get it correctly? Number two, what is the next? What's next? MTWTH. What will be the next? It's F. Why? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then Friday. The letters there represent the, uh, of course, the first letter of the days of the week. 
Number three, what is the next letter? Of course, if that is the days of the week, we have also January, February, March, April, May. What will be the next letter? It's J. Then, what is the next number? What is your answer? It is 15. Do you have how many scores for this time? We have four correct answers. Three. Let's proceed to question number five. What is the tenth term? It's 36. Oh, there are some of you who got it. Number seven. Or number six. And we are looking for the seventh term. So number six, the seventh term is 49. How about number seven? We are looking for the next term, which is 1 over 32. That's correct. Number eight, the ninth term is, what is the ninth term? It is 28. Then question number nine, we have the sixth term. We are looking for the sixth term, which is negative 16. And last is 10. So here, let's compute your final score or the final number. Your final score Divided by your age. So, for example, you have, uh, how many points do you have? For example, you got seven correct answers multiplied by 40. Or the example here I gave is six, six points times 40, that is 240. Divided by your age, divided by 15. The average age for a grade 10 is 15, so the answer is 16. Add to your new number. So we have add 4 to your new number. Your new number is 16. Then add it by 4. That is equal to 20. So let us see this number means you are intelligent at your age. Your score is 20. You are intelligent at your age. Did you enjoy so now, let us define what is a sequence. All those examples I gave you represent a sequence. And what do you observe? Of course, a sequence is a function whose domain is definite or infinite set. Or you have here a particular pattern. When we say finite function or infinite function or sequence, what is this all about? So a sequence can be identified whether it is a finite sequence or an infinite sequence. May I just give an example of finite set or sequences? A sequence with finite number of terms, for example, uh, then infinite sequence is infinite number of terms. So let us have examples so that you will understand it better. 5, 10, 15, 20, then you have the ellipsis, then you have 50, that is a finite set. We can identify your first term and your last term. So, in a sequence, we have what we call terms. Five here. Five here is uh, your first term. Then your last term here is 50. So, each number here in your sequence is term as terms. 5 is your first term, 10 will be your second term, 15 is your third term, 20 is your fourth term, and so on. And your last term will be 50. For the second example, we have 3 as your first term, or we can denote as 1 as ace of 1. So ace of 1 subscript, ace of 1, then 8 is your ace of 2, and 13 is ace of 3, and so on. And your last term is 23, which is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 terms. Remember, for finite set or finite sequence, we can identify your first term, your last term, and of course, how many terms we have. We can count the number of terms in a finite sequence. Then the other one is infinite. So we have here 5, 10, 15, 20, and then you have here an ellipsis. We do not know your last term. So it is an infinite set. 
Uh, same through with the second example, 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. It is an example of an infinite set. Of course, you are observing a pattern here. What will be the next number after 20 for the first example? Of course, you will be answering 25. After 25, what will it be the next number again? It will be 30 and so on. So we, we cannot stop. We do not know your last term and your, for, your last term, rather. But we can still go on. So it is a sequence. We are observing a particular pattern. We know what is the next term or we know what will be the next one. So it is a sequence. So I guess we can identify whether it is a finite or infinite sequence. Number one, I guess you can do it. You may answer one, two, Three, what is your answer for number one? Of course, it is finite, finite sequence. Number two is infinite. Number three is a finite sequence. Number four is infinite. Of course, if you have the clue there, if we are using the ellipses, then it is infinite sequence. But, of course, if the last term is identified, it is finite sequence. And we have number 5. How many terms are there for number 5? Do we have a pattern for number 5? 3, 6, 10, 15, 21. Do you observe some pattern? Is it a sequence? Yes or no? It is still a sequence. Why? 3 added by 3, 6 added by 4 is 10 added by 5 is 15 added by 6 is 21. Then we have to add 7 to get the next number. Question, uh, you have your queries. You just go over my examples. Then you define a sequence as well as how to observe some patterns. See you on our next lesson. I guess you can answer some worksheets you have with you. Uh, see you again.